<laughs> All right, Villager and Simon. Twinkie, what's your take? Oh, oh look. Man. I as got I, no idea. <laughs> as I get off of close-up cam. <laughs> So this will be an interesting match, because... Go ahead. Yeah, I think this will be particularly interesting just because Villager can pocket so many of his projectiles, and I don't know what happens if Villager gets cross, if he'll be able to continue to use it or not. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that strategy happen. Oh, got the double. Yeah, so we're seeing the use of that pocket. Oh, and he got the top of that forward smash. Angled it up just a little bit and hit Villager's head. Ooh, and the charged up smash. Nothing. Darken using that range to stay out of the way of tree. That needs to have a better name than tree. The arborist or something. See that one thing about Animal Crossing is they don't get too complicated most of the time. <laughs> Darken taking his time to get as much damage out of that holy water as he can. Oh, and they're both. Turned around, crossed up. Yeah, and that's a that's one thing you have to watch out for Simon as well, is that if you are up above them, they've got that very long chain. So they can snipe you even if you're in the bubble. You see that angled forward air coming out again, trying to catch that platform. Um, caught the cross. Throws it out so he doesn't get hit by axe. Palps holding on to this life for dear life. Oh, uh, but the forward tilt. Yeah, and that's, that's dangerous. It's a little too strong. Trying to close the stock out. Got to get on the board quick, or if you find yourself too far below the Belmonts, you're going to end up in a lot of trouble. Oh, and catches the roll. Anybody's game at this point. Oh, and Darken still gets hit by the tree. going so low it'll eat villager wow i did not know that villager could stay under the stage that long very yeah, good that was a long time. <laughs> that's what that's what happens when you know your character you you know how long you can do whatever i'm trying to get our ledge trap started still not quite there Oh, and caught the downs. Oh, that DI, we're living. Oh, and we missed the missed the forward smash off the stage. That could have been it. Ah, yeah, here we go. Yep, DI's not helping you on that time. Yeah, normally those edges mess up Simon. So I wonder if Darkin's got something up his sleeve here. Oh! Oh! Almost ate through the, uh, both of those balloons. 
You'll see Darken keeping stage control. Getting that lag from from Pouts Perry. Yeah, Dalton's look or Darken's looking a bit more comfortable this time around. I wonder what his what's on his mind about this. These ledges. And did his axe hit a balloon just a second ago? Is that what I saw? Honestly, not sure. Ooh. Oh, caught him with the axe the through the axe. stage. <laughs> Oh no! Got turned around. Not gonna lie. Had that happen to me more than once or twice. <laughs> you kinda had to what? I said I've had, I, I'm not gonna lie, I've had that happen to me more than once or twice. Yes. <laughs> we all have. Doesn't matter how good you are at the game. <laughs> oh! Caught the shield drop. Nice tech chase. Missed the tech and followed up with that forward air. Ooh. Dalton trying to capitalize. And Palp charging that just enough to catch the, the lack of mashing. Yep, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Heard the uh, epic door close. It's fine. As, uh, as my nieces, they're dead ob for obvious reasons because they're, you know, five and nine years old. You know, it doesn't want them to, you know, be all up on the internet, you know. It's fine. <laughs> they figure, figure broadcasting them live uh, across one of the most popular platforms in the world is uh, <laughs> probably, probably not the best place for a nine year old. Oh, <gasps> oh. Oh, I thought he might have made it if he only ca caught the one. There it is. Yeah. Man, Belmont is oppressive at the ledge. Yeah, oh, Lucario. Interesting. Home field advantage, maybe? Here we go. Now Lucario is mad. So I'm I'm curious if Palp is suspecting that Simon's going to have trouble killing Lucario at low percent. And I would say that's probably accurate. And for those of you that don't know, Lucario gets a damage buff, or gets a attack buff with more damage he's got, and you can see that uh, by his aura. How that worked, I have no idea. I don't know if he countered Axe or what he hit. Yeah, here we go. This is where Lucario does his thing. Hundred and fifty damage. Dalton Darken has got to get the kill. There it is. Yeah, every attack will do over twenty damage at that at that point. Something like that at least. I'm sure somebody's got that number. Oh. Darken taking advantage of the lack of a jump. But he landed on stage. Yeah, that's more like it. I don't know what was with the counter the first time. And Palp reading the down air. Oh, 
Was that 20 damage from a fully charged aura at zero? Oh, he wasn't at zero. He was at 50 something. Oh, yep, yeah, the juggles. Lucario struggles when you get under him. You'll find a lot of characters are like that. They struggle very much at that downward angle. Oh. Dalton going, Darken going with those high axes. There it is. Caught it at the peak. Yep. And we'll see if this counter pick from Palp works out or not. There it is. What a game. He should have stuck with Villager. I think he would have had a better chance to win. Samus is under fire. She sent an emergency directive. Join the fight.